Hey, welcome to this video. This is Pete. In this video, we're going to talk about the best investments to invest into in 2022, um, especially going through this inflation, everything that's going on, right? You know, gas prices are going up, food costs are rising. So what are the best investments to invest into? What's going up? What's going down, right? That's what we're going to dig deep into and talk about. And I'll share with you uh, right after you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss another video because we help people prepare for the future during this crazy inflation most people usually get poor but the wealthy get even more rich so i'm going to help you see what the wealthy do to get more rich during these bad economic times so let's get right into it so one thing to understand is that we are in bubbles right now real estate bubble stock market bubble right so the market is about to experience a big shift right a lot of the known investors are saying a big market crash right so the best investments that I see everybody recommending who knows how to build wealth, right, are resources that people use every single day. Real commodities, right, things of value. Things like oil, right? However, oil has already uh, jumped, right, peaked already here at uh, like 130 to 120. And it came from just $30, I think it was just last year. So, you know, in the past year it went up 70%, right? So these natural resources, right, uh, that people use daily, you know, when oil goes up, uh, fertilizer goes up, which means uh, the crop that farmers grow go up, which means food costs go up. So it affects everything. Plus, interest rates are going up on real estate and mortgages, right? So everything is going to affect this inflation that we're in. It's going to rise the prices of everything until this bubble bursts, right? So as you can see, the natural gas resource like over 170%, heating oil over 200%, crazy, crazy, right? Um, and the thing is, is we might be a little late, they still might go up, but um, you, we might be a little late to investing, right, into these resources that already jumped, they're already like crazy peaked. So what can you get into that still has potential, right? but it's still undervalued my friend and that is gold and silver okay this is not financial advice right i'm not a financial advisor i'm sharing with you facts if you look back at history charts i'm sharing with you what i'm doing okay i'm stacking up on gold and specifically silver okay as you can see in the past year actually went under it's because it's, the markets are being manipulated while some of the biggest banks right and uh, even industries, JP Morgan, right, the biggest holder of silver, they're scooping it up. Governments are scooping up gold and silver, right? Silver actually has a lot more production right now, right? It's been used in a lot of different applications. Look at like lithium. See, we're a little late to that party, right? It already peaked. And so because silver is still down, as you can see, right, this is past 20 years chart. This is for gold. You know, gold had its all-time high, which is about $2,000 per ounce, right? For gold in July however it's still being compressed we're about to experience some of the analysts are saying gold should be like $2,800 right now or more now silver on the other hand is really being compressed because they're manipulating the market so they can scoop up more and more of it for themselves before it jumps before it fights inflation right silver and gold my friend has always been the hedge against inflation in fact its all-time high was over $40 right here in 2011 to the last market crash that happened between 2008 to 2010 right? the recession we had there was nothing compared to the financial crisis we're battling now okay uh, they're saying the inflation rate has never been as high as it is now since like 1940s okay and we're just getting started all right they're still printing more money inflation is going to go to the roof and silver is being compressed it's nowhere near its all-time high in fact it's half off okay it's like 21 22 dollars per ounce of silver and we're about to experience inflation at its highest that we've ever seen in our lifetime it's i believe inevitable right i mean come on they printed 80 percent more money into circulation in just the past 24 months than in history of time so this is crazy right here we're about to experience i believe another peak of silver pricing we can experience another silver squeeze and i believe this is the time to stack up on this undervalued asset okay well other assets are already taking their jumps right look at this we going up in price fertilizers are rising gas prices are rising but silver even compared to gold is really being 
uh, manipulated, right? But it's only short term. They can only pull back the rubber band so far before they let go. And then, and then, my friend, I believe we can see new all-time highs for silver. It's just real pure economics when you look at what's going on, the inflation rate, right? And I believe commodities, these resources like oil that America stopped producing, which is why, you know, it's jumping like crazy. And silver and gold, silver has so much application, there's no reason why it should be under. It should be like 100%, 200%, just like these other commodities, you know, up. But I believe it's coming. That's why I believe silver is one of the most undervalued, valuable assets that's always been a store of value, just like history has always shown us. And it's real money. When everything else fails, when our fiat currency gets devalued, as it's losing its buying power, right? Silver and gold has always been the hedge against inflation. This is what we're stacking up on more than Bitcoin. Yes, because Bitcoin, you know, even though it's about $30,000, that's like half down from its all-time high, but so are stocks. And we are still in the bubble. The bubble hasn't burst. The big market crash that can potentially happen hasn't happened yet. So when it does, we can experience another 50% drop. Bitcoin will go on sale, I believe. So this is actually, I believe, not the best time to buy Bitcoin. It's not a bad time, but it's not the best time. We can see 15,000 perhaps, Bitcoin even less maybe. So Bitcoin is not undervalued right now, but I believe silver is the most undervalued asset, okay? In fact, you can pay a lot of premiums over spot, you know, fees. And I get it for no overspot fees, no premiums, right? No additional fees. We can get it for dealer direct pricing. There's only one source that I trust to get silver and gold, my friend. The number one link below will take you through a free training and give you all the information. And you can start collecting the best silver and gold for the lowest price, right? And be on the winning side during this crazy inflation. This year, 2022, is the year to accumulate silver and gold the hedge against inflation just like the wealthy are doing just like some of the biggest banks and industries are doing actually and you can be on the winning side too my friend hey if you like this kind of stuff don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave me a comment if i uh, you know resonate with this kind of stuff and here's what i'll do for you the number one link below will plug you into a free training step by step more in depth on how you can start collecting precious metals real silver and gold the best quality, right? How to properly, you know, accumulate it without overpaying all the high minimums, you know, all the spot fees and everything. You can avoid all that because I leverage one source that I trust that I get it for the lowest cost. Uh, so with that said, uh, click that, you know, link below, watch the free training and uh, you'll get all the information on how you can start collecting silver and gold. This is the exact same way that I'm building my precious metals portfolio right now. I believe, you know, especially silver is one of the most undervalued commodities, undervalued assets that you can collect now. You know, it's probably too late to buy uh, oil just because it's, you know, skyrocketing already in price, but silver hasn't taken off yet. And it's always been, gold and silver has always been the hedge against inflation just like history has always shown us so uh, this is an amazing opportunity to accumulate uh, what the big banks like JP Morgan and some of the biggest you know uh, wealthiest people out there biggest industries also are accumulating silver okay uh, so it's a very undervalued asset I believe right now is the best time to get your hands on some so with that said um, stay tuned my friend links are below right don't forget to watch the free training that, with the link below right but don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming videos as well with that said I wish you phenomenal success